Whole food chef and author Jane Grover is joining me today and we're going to be cooking a beautiful recipe from your latest book. You've got two books. This one I just adore. It's so beautiful. Thanks, it's called Our Delicious Adventure. What are you going to be cooking? Uh, I'm going to be cooking one of my all-time favourites, a homemade pie. Oh, it's yes. going to be a chicken, <laughs> leek and sage pie <gasps> with a spelt crust. So I'm going to get you to start with the pastry, sure. the spelt crust. Mm -hmm. And we're just using the spelt flour, which is... Um, going to go in mm -hmm. and then we've got some softened butter which we're just going to pop in as well and pulse that up mm -hmm. and that'll come to like a crummy mixture. You could do this with your hands as well. So once you've done that we're going to add our water gradually and I'm going to start chopping up these onions for the pie filling. Yum. Okay so I'm just going to finely dice these. I love how there's not so many ingredients in this yeah. pie. Yeah. Chicken, leek and sage. Yeah. How good sage? Sage is yep. a revelation. It's just got a really lovely flavour and it goes really well with the sweetness of the leek as yep. well. Yep. Um, so we've cleaned these up because leeks can have a little bit of dirt in them. Dirt is good because it uh, means it's been in the garden recently. Mm. So we're just going to chop those up really finely as well. All right, Jane, I think this is ready. Look at this nice yeah, dough. Yeah, coming Sticky. together well. Perfect. So if you can just take that out, yep. form it into a ball and then wrap it and pop it in the fridge yep. um, for a few minutes just to let the butter set in it, that would be oh, great. Dude. And I'll get onto the stove over here, a bit of olive oil into my pan. Mm -hmm. We'll pop that on. And we just want to have that on a low heat to begin with because we're just going to sweat these off mm and not get uh, too much colour in them. We're wanting it to be like a, a light, white, creamy pie filling. And for the chicken, we're using thigh, which is yes. my favourite cut. It stays nice and moist. That will. I'm going to chop that up and that's going to go in next. Easy. Yeah. Okay, so that's cooked off nicely now, yep. coloured but not browned. Exactly. And we are going to add some white wine to that while it's hot. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to deglaze the bottom of the pan a little. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some flour to that. Okay. And this is just to thicken it. And if you want to grab that stock, just a little at first, um, and we're just going to absorb that in and then a little more. And what we're doing is just creating the sauce now. Because our stock is hot, it's absorbing in really nicely and really quickly. Yeah. So I think we can put it all in now because right. it's behaving really nicely for yep. us, which is always a relief. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, um, you know, when you're making a pie, you want that sauce to be lush, silky and That's slightly right. thick. You don't yeah. want it to be runny everywhere. That's right. Silky yeah. is the word. So I'm going to add some sage, but what I might get you to do is just pick off some little small leaves to decorate the pie at the end so nice. it'll look a little bit pretty. And how long are you going to cook uh, the pie filling for? The pie filling will cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, as it starts to thicken, you can turn it down to a lower heat and just yep. let it simmer. While we're cooling it down, yep. we can roll out our pastry and we'll be good to go. Too easy. <laughs> Okay, so we're just rolling out our pastry mm -hmm. now. And then we're just going to take one of our little pastry dishes mm -hmm. and go around the outside of the dish. And that means that our pastry is going to be just the right mm. size for our pie. Okay, and while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I'm going to grab you this melted butter. Okay. And if you want to just give the, the tops of them just a little brush around just sure. so the pastry doesn't stick when they're cooking in the oven. Yeah. And then we're going to load them up with our pie mix. We're going to put about a cup into each. Yep. And if you're going to do this on the same day, do let it cool, right? You don't want it to be piping hot when you put the pastry on because it will get a bit soggy. That's right. Yep. It'll soften your pastry up, yep. you know, really fast and melt the butter in it before it gets in the oven. Yep. And then we'll pop the lids on. And I like to grab a fork yes. uh, and just give it a little bit of a, a pinch around the side and this seals it off. And then I use the same fork to just give a little poke, uh -huh. a couple of holes. If you want to brush that one with some whole egg we've used, we've yep. just whipped that a little, beat it, and then use some of these little sage leaves that you pulled off earlier. How We're long done. are we baking them in the oven for? 20 to 30 minutes, yep. depending on your oven. Keep an eye on them for the last 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Golden brown on the top and yum. Piping hot yeah. centre. All right, let's get cracking on okay, the rest of these. let's get going. Wow. 
is so beautiful impressive. and golden. They yep. come out and the sage has gone crispy yeah. on top. So let's lift one out. They've cooled down a little now. Yes. And you should crack into that and watch your tongue nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this pastry, which I'm really interested in. It's like a sort of short crust uh, style pastry. Mm, oh, look at that nice crunchy. silky, silky sauce. Ooh, chunk of yes, chicken. Yes, chunk of chicken. Oh. Good. Mm. Perfect comfort food. The ultimate comfort food and that sage in it yeah. and how thick and rich that sauce is. Absolutely yeah. love it. Good pie. I know, sorry, <laughs> that's me. What a little piggy I am sometimes. <laughs>